Hi everyone. So this is the other dream that I had. Now I did not want to post this yesterday because I had already posted a video and I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of time to review that video if you want it to. However, it is what Christ had told me to tell you and that's why I'm telling you it. Um, now this dream, Jesus spoke to me personally. I believe it's something that is very important to him. And I believe he wanted me to talk to you about it. I dreamt it, woke up, prayed about it, and I believe he wants me to say it, so that's what I'm doing. I'm saying to you what I believe he wants me to tell you. Now in this dream, I was into a small apartment and I seen a man and he was making a video of himself cooking. And what he had on his plate was a pork chop and he had some spinach on the side. Me and Jesus were into this apartment and we were watching him and he didn't know it, he couldn't see us. And I was just basically the observer. I was just observing Jesus and observing him and what he was doing and what Jesus was doing. So Jesus walks up to him and Jesus looks at his plate and then he looks at him and he was kind of like, Ugh, you know, um, and I believe that it was kind of, he was kind of like, uh oh, you know, because he knew that what he was going to be taking from this man was not going to be enough. What he was given by this man of himself wasn't enough because he had taken a piece of um, this man's shirt and I knew that by him ripping that piece of shirt it meant symbolically that that is how much that man was giving to Jesus of himself and I knew by Jesus's reaction that it was not enough so um, Jesus walks over to a table and he looks at me and he raises up this piece of material that could barely even make a half a sleeve. And he says, that's all I have of him for the rest of my life. And he dropped it onto this um, round thing. It wasn't like a magic eight ball or anything like that. It was something that I knew that he was going to take to the father. Yes, I believe in Trinity, in the Trinity, but I also believe that these three are one. You know what I mean? So um, he had placed this as well, and I knew he was going to take it to the Father. And I was just looking at Jesus, and I said, boy, you wanted more than that, didn't you? And he said, yes, I did. And I just was kind of shocked because I never talked to Jesus in my dreams like that. Normally, I seen Jesus in my dreams at times, but I never spoke to him before not like that and I was shocked because my you know when your body's like asleep but your mind's awake I was consciously aware that I was dreaming I could have said anything I knew that I was um able to say what I wanted to say in the sense you know what I mean so I looked at him and I said oh I didn't know that I could speak to you like this in my dream and he looked back at me and he said well yes you can and I said, nothing. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. I, I didn't know what to think because, I mean, I was just awestruck because it was the first time that that ever happened. So, I mean, like, me acknowledging that I was dreaming, instantly I took my hand and I put it on my stomach physically in real life and I was, like, feeling like, I'm not dead, you know, like, because it was so shocking to have had that experience. And anyway, I ended up waking up. I prayed about it, and this is what I dreamed. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with it because of the old covenant and whatnot, but I am here to tell you that this is what Jesus Christ had given me to tell you. I am not in control of God's will. God is in control of God's will. And I do... A lot of people could probably say things about me and if you want to, that's your choice. What I do is try to have a relationship with God, be intimate with him and to do his will. However, um, I can only do what I can do. And I know in this case, he gave me this dream to give to everybody. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it. 
but it is what it is. God wanted me to say it. I'm not going to withhold, uh, withhold it because of any reasons. So if this is something that concerns you, I would advise you to speak to God about it and he will give you the answers that you need. He always does. He is a righteous God. He will seek you if you're seeking him humbly and earnestly. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I just want to say that and um, I want to say God bless everybody and I hope you have a good day.